today we're going to walk through building a quest in Spatial. Now quests allow you to tell the user that comes into your space what to do, where to go, tasks they can accomplish, and then you can reward them with badges and soon other items. So let's jump in. Alright, so to get started, I'm just going to go over to my scene hier hierarchy, right click, go to Spatial, and add a quest. And this is going to add a quest object to my scene. So looking through here, we can give our quest a name. So we're going to call this my first quest. And then we can give it a description. Now the name and description are what's going to show up in the bottom left corner on web and in a bottom menu that pops up on mobile. So we're going to give this description uh, my first quest on spatial. Can you get through it all? All right. Now coming down, we have some settings that we can set up our quest with. The first is start automatically. So I'm going to check that. So what that's going to do is as soon as someone comes into my space, it's going to start the quest automatically. Now we can also have a quest start through a trigger or some other component or other action that happens in the scene, say when someone walks into a certain area or does some other action in the space. But in this case, we're going to start it automatically. Then we have save user progress. So this is going to save someone's progress as they progress through the quest. So that way, if they have to leave the space and come back later, their progress through the quest will be saved. So they have to start over from the beginning. Next is tasks are ordered. So you can have tasks in a quest that are either unordered or ordered. So if you wanted to have more of an open world concept where someone can complete tasks in any order, you would want to uncheck this box. But in this case, we want someone to complete the tasks in a certain order. So I'm going to have this box checked. Next is celebrate on complete. So this is just a fun one. So when someone finishes all the tasks in this quest, we can play a confetti animation uh, at the end to celebrate them completing the quest. Uh, and then next we have this drop down quest rewards. So here we can reward, I'm going to click a drop down and we can reward a badge uh, or an item. So I'm going to choose badge. Now a badge will set up uh, towards the end uh, and an item is something that we can set up inside Spatial Studio uh, with a package that has been published from the Creator Toolkit. We'll get into that later. So in this case, I'm just going to choose Badge. And we'll set up, like I said, our badges later. Next is Tasks. So now we can actually define what tasks someone has to accomplish in order to complete the quest. So the first task I'm going to want people to complete is to find the staircase. So we're going to call this find the staircase. And then you can see there is a different types of tasks that we can have. So there's two types of tasks that we can have in our quest. The first is a check task. So that's just does one thing happen and we kind of check the box that that user has accomplished that task. So in this case, find the staircase. As soon as they find the staircase, that's one thing. So we're going to check the box. So we're going to leave that as check. And then the other is progress bar. So if one task is, say, to collect 10 coins, we can have a progress bar and keep count as the user does those things in that task. Counts from 1, 2, up to 10 in that case. Um, we're actually going to use that for our second task in this uh, scenario. So in this case, we're going to leave it as check. And then you can also have task markers. So if you wanted to guide someone to where something goes, uh, to where they go in their quest, in that task, you can leave a marker that shows up on screen uh, to guide them where to go. So we can add one here uh, as well. So I'm going to add one just to make this task a little bit easier. And we'll leave that uh, for right now. And now we want to add uh, a second task. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add task two. And that second task is going to be collect all the gems. And like I mentioned before, this is going to be a progress bar type of task. Uh, in that case, you know, we want someone to collect all the gems and they can add progress as they go. So in this case, we actually already have uh, a bunch of these gems in the scene. We actually have five of them. 
So we're going to have the user collect all five gems. So there's going to be five progress steps. And we're not going to add a task marker for this one. We want them to find this one a little bit. Okay, now that we've set up our quest in the inspector, let's actually tie things in the space back to our quest in order to let the user accomplish those tasks. So the first thing we're going to do is add a trigger component so that we know when the user finds the staircase. So to do that, let's right click on our scene, go to spatial and then trigger event. If I double click, we can zoom in and you can see when I add a trigger event, that adds this sphere collider to it, that green circle around it, so that when anyone enters that circle, it's going to trip the trigger event and send off something that's going to happen in our scene. So I want someone to find the staircase when they get to the bottom of the staircase here. So I'm going to move our trigger event here to the bottom of the staircase, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger, so that way when they find the staircase here, we're going to trigger that quest. So now if I go into the trigger event, and we went over this in a previous video, we're going to go into our on enter event, and there's actually, uh, we're not going to use a unity event or an animator event, we're going to actually use the special quest event uh, option here. So I'm going to click the plus button, and then choose our quest, my first quest, and then we want to complete the task. So since finding the staircase is just a check task type, I'm going to choose complete task. And then I'm going to choose our task, which is find the staircase. So now when someone enters this trigger event, it's going to check off that quest, uh, that task in that quest. Uh, and then since we've completed it, it's going to move to the next step. All right, for our, the second task in our quest, we have to find all the gems in the space. And to do that, we have all these collectibles in the space. And these are prefabs that are already set up. And if you're not familiar with prefabs, those are just objects in Unity that are already built and made out of multiple different components. So you can see here, if we drill down, this collectible is actually made out of a trigger event, which we just used in the previous task step, a cube, and particles. This is actually a prefab object sample that we provide to you in the Spatial Creator Toolkit uh, starter template. So we're just actually going to make one change to this collectible in order to connect it to our quest. So since we have five of these collectibles here, we don't want to have to make changes to each one five times. So we're going to leverage the prefab option in Unity. So to do that, you can see a prefab is identified in Unity by being highlighted in blue, as blue text. So if I wanted to edit the prefab, which would then uh, send that change to all the other prefabs in the scene, I'm just going to click this arrow icon to open the prefab, and now we're editing the prefab. So the changes that we make here will be cascaded to the other objects, the other prefabs in the scene. I'm going to click on Trigger and then go down to the trigger event. And here, we're gonna just add, like we did before, a quest event. We're gonna choose our quest. And we're gonna add task progress. And then we're gonna choose our task, collect all the gems. And now, you can see when I go back and look at all the other collectibles or gems in the space, they're all going to have that quest event on their trigger event. So now we've just changed all of these collectibles with just one change. So now every time someone enters and trips that trigger in their quest, it's going to add task progress uh, in the quest up to five times since we have five triggers in the scene. And that's all we have to do. Now we've successfully set up our quest, which is, there's just one more thing to do. All right, the last thing we have to do now that we've finished setting up the tasks in our quest is to set up the reward we're going to give to the person completing our quest. So to do that, we're going to go to the settings, the creator toolkit settings in the top right. And then we have this tab here for badges. I'm going to click on badges. And this is where you can set up your badges that you reward to uh, your visitors. 
So I'm going to name this badge um, my first badge. And a description, I completed my first quest. Now, we provide you a badge template so you know which specific shape to use for your badge to make sure it looks great. So I'm going to choose Download Badge Template. Actually, this is actually going to take you to this Canva preview. If you're viewing this uh, after May 2023, this may take you to a Dropbox, um, but it's still the same. You'll still look at the same content. We have all these badge examples that you can use and download or modify for your own quest. So I like this one on page two. So I'm just going to download this badge. I'm going to get a transparent background. Download the second one. Awesome. And now I'm just going to bring that into my project. So I'm just going to right click, import new asset, go to my downloads, and there's my badge. And then I just want to make sure that this is set to alpha source input texture alpha, and then alpha is transparency. Then click apply. Now it's got, it's just a perfect circle. Now I'm going to come back into my badge setup and click select icon. And I can either choose this from my project or from my local machine as well. So I'm going to choose that and then click create new badge. And there it is, there's my badge. So now I can use this in my quest. So let's go back into my quest object in the scene and back here where I had quest, quest rewards. Now I can choose my first badge. And there we go. That's how you set up a badge reward for a quest. Now, of course, the last thing we wanna do is test, it, test this and make sure it all works. So let's go up to the settings. We're gonna create a new space, call this my first quest and then we want to assign our scene asset here to the scene property and then I'm just going to take this thumbnail and set it here and then coming back into unity I'm going to hover over test active scene and just confirm it says builds the active scene quest demo which is the scene and then click test and this is going to package this up and send it to our sandbox for testing. And here we go. You can see in the bottom left corner, I've got my quest interface where it says my first quest, my first quest on spatial. And I can see the first task that I have. And it's not gonna show the second task since it's ordered until I complete the first one. So now let's go and check to make sure I can find that staircase. There it is. So once I found the staircase, it checks that off and then it shows my second task, which is collect all the gems. So now let's head up to the top of the staircase. And you can see as we collect all the gems, it's counting them up to five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we earned our badge and that confetti went off. And now we can see that our quest was successful. So that's all there is to it to completing quests. Looking forward to seeing the quest that you build on Spatial.